Good morning peeps, I'm back at Topcroft today, the Topcroft Lakes. Now I'm in the big lake and it's very foggy and it's zero degrees. Right, I've got two lines set up on the pole and I'm in line with an angler over there, if you can see him in the fog, down there at seven sections. And I've got another one set up at that angler over there at seven sections again. They're slightly different depths but I've got two different tops for that. I've got the method feeder set up with my Horizon Pro and my 4000 reel. Right, I'm now going to chuck the method rod out. I've got it made up with micros. I've got all my micro baits here and I've got two brand new baits of Fuka baits to try today. I'll show you what they are a bit later. Right, I'm ready to go. Let's see what I can get today. <laughs> Right, let's get out again. The fish got off, so it's not tangled. So the fish is untangled now, so he's all right. Set the stopwatch. Let's see if we can get one this time. Uh, we're in this time, that was a better bite. We're in again. I'll go on my pole line later, but I'll see how it goes like this with the method. And if it stays like this, I, <laughs> I might not need to bother going on the pole. Don't think it went through the pole swim, which is good. It's on a white fat boy Fuka on the method feeder. As you see, I had it loaded up, but I loaded up exactly the same. Oh, good start. That's a decent fish. Here we come. He's coming in now. Oh, missed him. Just go, boy. <laughs> He's off again. Got him. Oh, he's a blue and good one. Yes, he is. Booty. Oh. Perfect start. Oh. Yeah. Hooked perfectly in the bottom lip. What a brilliant start. If I can get that on the rest, there we go. Look at that, so that's a good start. Whoop, don't you jump, you always do that just because I'm posing you. What about that for a start? 
<laughs> well, I've gone on my pole line now. I'm in. Sorry about that noise behind us, but that is a working farm behind us, and uh, it sounds like I got a big old strimmer running. Well, that's a skimmer. Get yourself sorted. Right in the top lip. On the new Fuka bait. <laughs> there we are. You won't stay still just because I want to hold you for a second for the camera, look. <laughs> there we are. Good start. <laughs> We're in again straight away on the next put in. Don't think this one's a skimmer. No, it certainly is not a skimmer. He's never realised he's hooked. <laughs> Ooh. Look at that strimmer again. Isn't that marvellous? <laughs> never mind, that's a working farm over there. You can't help that. Doing a nice run again, look. Yeah. Well, the new bait is working anyway. I've got fairly light elastic on here. I've got the 10 to 12. Perhaps I want to beef it up a bit. There he comes, he's all right. <laughs> oh, what am I doing this morning? What am I like? Bad knitting, very bad knitting. That's got it. Right, here we are. Not on the side of the lip. If I can get it out, come on. Disgorger, I can't quite get a hold of it. it came out easy with that. Lovely jubbly. Let's make sure he's in the shot and I'll get you in the sun now because the sun is out lovely. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, brilliant, isn't it? He liked the new Fuka bait. <laughs> Brilliant. Get him back. Perfect. Oh, oh, oh. I turned you on a bit later because there's a strimmer keep roaring its guts out over there. <laughs> it off a bit. So you can't hear it too much. It's a shame really, but there you are. I can't do nothing better. Now, I've lost the last two carp. I'll see if I can keep this one. As I said earlier, a beautiful day. It's lovely here today. And chaps over there all got their hats off. They all got the sunglasses on. I'll show you them all in a minute. I'll just get this one in. And I won't get that one in either. That man was three in a row I've lost now. 
that's better. He's turned that thing off now. Much more bearable, but you can see an absolutely beautiful day. I've lost three carp now. Two with a scale come in. Oh, I don't know. Hook pulled out the other one. Now they're shouting at each other. Isn't that marvellous? Hey, <laughs> you thought you'd come for a lovely quiet day. Never mind. Right, what I'm going to do is I love a cup of tea, so I'm going to put the feeder out while I have a cup of tea. And that blooming noise, <laughs> I'll cop that out there in my swim. Just an underarm. So it's very difficult to have a cup of tea when you're on the pole. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll start my stopwatch. Just see how long it takes. Lovely jubbly. I've got tea today because I've run out of Oxo. <laughs> cool, that's lovely. So I can just sit and have a cup of tea because it'd be very difficult to have a cup of tea while you've got a pole because you have to use both hands with that. Unless you were down the edge, of course, then you could have one hand free. But it's a bit shallow down this edge, so I thought I, won't, I might try it a little bit later, we'll see. See if that comes off. Still, anyway, I'll show you the lake while that's nice and sunny. A lot of anglers here, as you can see. I think there's 20 of them down there. I think most of them are catching, so that's not. As you can see, they've all got the sunglasses on and all got the poles out, feeder rods out. You've got to try everything you can in you to try and catch fish. Right, I'll catch you in a minute when I finish my tea. Well, we're in with the pole. I went back to the pole after I had my cup of tea. We're in. Well, that's a bream. Good size bream too. I'm gonna get my thing back because I had to get up in my seat. Oh, isn't that marvellous? Why do you have to do that every time I try and unhook you? Come on, you're a bream, you're not a carp. Just in the bottom lip. Lovely. Not bad, Bream. It's quite a good one here for here. I, I didn't know they had good ones in here. Here we are. Right there, going back. <laughs> he didn't want to know. Never known Bream to fight like that. <laughs> At last, we're in. Nobody's catching much around the lake. All the match anglers, they're not getting much. So it's not my, it's not me. <laughs> Hopefully if this one is not foul looked, that was a nice little gentle bite. This one's on the new Fuka bait again. Got him, it's going to cut a long wall. 
quite a while since I caught that uh, bream. There's a hook's come out in the net. Lovely. Well, wow. it's a nice little fish anyway, isn't it? <laughs> Brilliant. That's lovely sun, look. This chubby little thing. Who ate all the pies, mate? You did. <laughs> chubby. Perhaps I found my feed again now. I'll put drop more out, I think. We're in again. Crikey, the way this one's going. It's a good job I did change the elastic. That <laughs> roared off, I'll tell you. Now we've got an aeroplane coming over. Oh well, when it's nice weather, the airplanes go up, don't they? And uh, would you believe it, I lost that one as well. Well, we're in again. We're in again. Just unplug a charge, just so it don't go bzzz. <laughs> yeah, lovely little carp again. It's very quiet over there in the match. <laughs> Your series were all about the <laughs> Got him. Lovely little carp, this one. Chubby, cool the heck, man. Who ate all the pies, mate? I think you did. Look at that. Oh, he's a chubby one, aren't you, mate? Keeps the hook just a minute. Just look at the hook out. He's took that down, he was hungry. I was going to say that's an F1, but he's got barbels. <laughs> Couldn't see him for a minute. Let's have one more look at him. He's chubby. He's at all the pies, isn't he? <laughs> Lovely bright day. Perfect. Lovely job. I like catching that size. Now we're in again. That's a bream again this time. I thought that was a carp the way it fought to start with. Nice size bream. Yeah, very good. Yeah, not bad size really. Yeah, not bad size, I suppose. Is he going to pose? No. <laughs> yeah, just in time. <laughs> nice size, really, and that bet was that pushing two pounds. Well, the new Fuka bait look. I'll zoom in on it so you can see it. They're little tiny pellets, just like a bread punch. What I've been using is two of them. You always have to keep these sealed up because otherwise so they don't dry out. But they're like little bread punches really. I've been putting two on at a time. You've seen me catch all the fish with them, so <laughs> you know they work. Just like a bread punch. 
Let's get out and see if I can get another one. I'm in again. Next put out after that bream. Lovely. Ooh. Ooh. We're in again. Been a bit quiet, but two fish and two put outs. Hmm. <laughs> Perhaps they found my feed out there. Please don't come off this time. <laughs> They've been doing a lot of that today. I don't know why. At least that machinery has gone a bit further away. Then we had aeroplanes come through two or three times. <laughs> A little Cessnas. Chap over opposite me is now starting to catch. He's had a few nice ones now. I did change the top sections because that's heavier elastic, the 14 to 16 yellow slick. Um, the other one was 10 to 12, my god, that used to come out. You don't want to give up in a hurry. Some of the gear I use, like the charger and stuff like that, I'll put links in the video so you can just check it out below. All my baits stuff like that. <laughs> Lovely fight. Come on, me old fruit. He's trying to go off back down that other end of the lake, I think. <laughs> Common, yeah, lovely. Got him. Nice one. Ooh, yeah, he's quite hefty. Correct, yes, nice and chunky fish. in the net mate yes it has <laughs> even better right are you gonna hold still just for a few seconds just while I get you in oh look at that on the new Fuka bait oh <laughs> perfect cool yeah that's a good five six pound that one cool chunky they're all chunky now good Right, well I've got a second or two for it. I'll show you fishing out there that video uh, video you're fishing. There's the char mast. I have that down here. It's like a charger, phone charger or anything like that. You see the cables come up here and that's charging my camera and the excess charging on there. That lasts all day, no problems, no changes in batteries. Alright Mr. Robin. I can hear you. It's lovely sitting here, it's bright warm. Just want that tip to go again. We're in there again. They finished their match, the whistle went off a little while ago. Lovely little common carp. Move my cup so I don't know I'll get in the water. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah. Beautiful job. Alright, let's just see if he'll stay still for a minute. 
There we are, look at that. Oh, on the new Fuca bait. <laughs> Lovely jubbly. Perfect. We're in again straight away. Next put in again. Right, so they're starting to feed. Chap walked past me earlier today and he said the height, the air pressure was very high, so he said that's why they're not on the bottom, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm still on the bottom, perhaps that's changed, I don't know. Another nice little common carp. Lovely. Lovely look, another one, another chunky, <laughs> another chunky, oh, <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> well, we're in again. I went round and watched the weigh in, not all of it obviously, but. 120 pound over there, wasn't it? Still. Ooh. Well, we got a little bream to finish off. And finish off on a skimmer. <laughs> there we go, look. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye for now.